Hello, and welcome back to RC with Adam. Today, we're testing an experiment that I have had on my mind for several times now. Essentially, we're going to be taking these normal motors, which are mounted in a normal fashion, and we're going to be mounting them at an angle. And they will still be normal motors, but they'll just be mounted at an angle. I made these 3D printed angle uh, mounts right here. This is PLA carbon fiber. Now, the two things that we're gonna test out, uh, one is uh, we're going to test out all angled in a forward direction. And these are 25 degree, uh, it's going to be at a 25 degree angle, so pretty aggressive. Um, and the other thing I want to test out is angling them at a 45 degree angle to the uh, direction of flight. I think that's how that would be. So basically, make all the propellers, instead of being flat, make them angled like that inward and then also possibly angle them outward if that would uh, I'm not sure if that would work but probably the outward way so this might be a two-part video first thing I'm gonna get these angle mounts on here and while I'm putting these on this drone here uh, let me tell you about today's sponsor because it's none other than PCB way PCB way makes custom printed circuit boards that's what PCB stands for and they have thousands of options to choose from they have many different types of circuit board materials and thicknesses as well as components to go on that circuit board and they even have a service where you can design a circuit board send your design file to them and they will actually put the components on the board for you and test it before it even comes to your door and i think that's pretty cool but maybe you don't maybe you're more into rapid prototyping stuff kind of like i am and you want to make cool projects well they've got something for that too because they offer rapid prototyping services to include sheet metal bending injection molding 3d printing and cnc machining and they can do it in many different types of materials for each of those processes so if that sounds interesting to you i'll have a link to pcb way down in the description below this video and oh what's this uh oh this just in we are having some kind of technical difficulty out in the field adam seems to have miscalculated something let's see what's going on the important thing is i need to make sure that these they're angled but just forward basically so the angle is not going this way or that way. All I want to do is tilt them forward as if I had tilted the entire drone. So you see how we're at this you know, angle. It should be about 25 degrees. Now, I know this design has been done before, this kind of theory, and I think uh, mostly with uh, uh, racing drones, the idea that you can get a lot more speed and stuff. Um, so, but... I haven't really formed the rest of that sentence right now. So I will get back to that at a later time. Yeah, and in there. It needs to be like, it was going on, but now it doesn't. There we go, so that, that bites. Okay, one down, three to go. So we're not gonna be testing exactly what I thought we would be testing today because of a miscalculation in the uh, design of this uh, 3D printed motor mount. And um, that is because this particular frame, well, first let me show you the problem. So the problem is uh, we have these propellers, the front ones are tilted forward, which is good, but they're kind of tilted inward, which is not what we wanted. And then the rear ones, they're, they're way out. They're, uh, they're basically tilted 25 degrees out to the side. Uh, and they both of them are so they give kind of this a tail shape which is not what I had intended um, but we're just going to test it out and see how it see if it can fly at all like this as it is and see if we need to change something in the flight controller but the reason why they uh, had to be mounted in this weird way is because I didn't take into account the geometry of the frame how this arm comes back at an angle at a different angle than the front arm so uh, and then also the front arm I think uh, it was actually a different frame it was a different source one frame this is a source one like original version seven inch and I was trying it on like a five inch version two I think so that's why it's being all weird so basically we're just gonna see if it can fly like this or not how exciting let's get to it
Hey, we have an 1850 milliamp hour six cell battery on here. Um, these, by the way, are Azure power six inch propellers. I just got them because they look really cool. And uh, let's uh, put the little do the uh -huh. auto level mode. Sounds nice. It's a lot of uh, really mushy throttle for some reason. So that was pretty cool. Basically, it, it felt very stable. I just had to keep pulling back on the uh, pitch uh, because you know we have those motors pointed forward. Um, so that's basically exactly what should happen. Um, so right now, though, uh, I'm going to back up and take off again. This time, we're going to do it in acro mode. Yeah. Arming. Okay, yeah, no problem. So far. No problem. of exactly what I was what I was hoping would happen and I su I suspect that, that that may have something to do with why the uh, DJI drones uh, and other camera drones are often angled downward or to, to a degree so that the thrust uh, component is not straight down now I've never actually flown these props on this quad like with this battery and you know, it's a different transmitter and blah 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 so the feel of it is very subjective. Oh, do you see that little little pop at the end of that roll? No, I missed that, I think. Right yeah, let me uh um, you see that when I do the roll. Maybe I, I don't need it to punch down, I'll just do the roll. Yeah, I got yeah. I think that is um I'm not sure what that is to be honest with you, but it's it's something's going on there something with the flight controller. Every time I roll, uh, film the drone. It doesn't really do the the little poppy thing if you if you bring the throttle back a little bit. So pr probably most of my type of flying would not be a problem. Okay, okay, so the yaw is all messed up. And the reason why the yaw is all messed up, or what I mean by that, like so you know, you're looking at the drone, I'm gonna yaw to the right. It it yaws, but it, it spins the drone, but it actually does like it turns the drone and goes forward, which is actually kind of cool. Um, so if I the, if I yaw to the left, this drone is automatically going to start turning in that direction um, because swap packs and then uh, and then uh, and then I'll get the goggles. Fascinating, fascinating stuff here at RC with Adam Industries. Yeah, hands are cold. I'm surprised that it, that it flies. I guess I shouldn't be, but that's cool. That's cool. Yeah.
to clarify what I was talking about when I was doing the, the yaw motion and it was adding some roll into it. Typically, when you yaw the drone, which means you just turn it uh, sort of like it's flat, and it, imagine if you stuck a pole through the middle of it, like here, it would just be rotating on that pole or that axis. The way that it does that is it varies the speed of the two opposing motors. It's essentially, it makes it so that the torque from the motors uh, moves the drone or rotates the drone. That's why if you have a really heavy drone but you don't have really big motors, it can be hard to get that sort of rotational yaw kind of mo uh, movement. But what's happening here is because these two motors, and actually now that I think about it, oh yeah, that's funny. I hadn't really, I hadn't really looked at it from this perspective, but the front left, as I'm looking at the drone, and the rear right motor, they're pointed in the same direction. So what ends up happening is if we give this a yaw command as it is, now let's say we want to yaw to the right, so we want to rotate the drone that way. Well, it's going to speed up these two motors, these two diagonal motors, and it's going to increase the thrust from here and here. So we're kind of getting this this kind of rolling sort of motion. Um, I think I have that right. We're getting kind of mixed thrust vectors uh, from the different motors. So it, it's pretty messy in that, in, it, like aerodynamically speaking, this is pretty messy. But let's see if it'll fly with the FPV camera. Let's go. Camera on, goggles on, transmitter on, camera still on. Transmitter, not yet. Fantastic, we have FPV feed, 25.1 volt. To the bench. Stand by. DVR is recording now. I'm just gonna do a nice easy takeoff for this one. Arming. strange because like um, I don't know why it's strange but it's strange something about the you see that's part of not having Because I'm like turning, it's like I'm, I'm rotating into a forward movement. I don't know if I can explain that very well, but it's, it's very strange. Uh, or I guess you could say it's basically like I'm pitching. When I yaw from a stationary position, it's like I'm yawing uh, as though I were at a high tilt angle. And then, like, when I rotate, I'm angled downward. Yeah, I don't know if that makes sense or not. I'm going to come towards us. I'm going to try and do it not too fast. Okay. But, uh,
it is uh, definitely uh, flyable uh, like this, but not really recommended. So there you go, folks. Now you know it will fly when the motors are all wonky, but it probably won't do what you want it to do. Thanks again for watching RC with Adam, and until next time, keep flying and building stuff and then breaking it and then putting it back together and then flying it again and then breaking it again and then redesigning it and then breaking it and then probably ultimately breaking it so much that you can't put it back together. But have fun while you're doing it and I'll see you again very soon. We'll get, I mean, we get bars in our goggles that show. Ah, nailed it. I like it. Boom. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's interesting. Yeah, it's that's weird. All it's right. Interesting.